Hello, my name is Frank Silverman, Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association, and you're watching another Business is Business. Now, if you watch this often, you'll notice I'm not at my desk in Orlando, Florida. I'm actually at a friend's desk in Oklahoma City, and it's just two days after uh, the huge tornado devastated parts of Oklahoma City, or actually more Oklahoma. And it made me think uh, about our, our schools, and, and of course there's some schools here in Oklahoma uh, that were devastated, and there's many families uh, that, that uh, are in devastating experiences right now. And uh, very lucky that, that my friends and family at, at Century and Maya uh, have escaped uh, that, that type of horrific uh, devastation so far. But it made me think about earthquakes and tornadoes and, and tsunamis and, and all the other natural disasters that happen, and do we have plans in place for, for if they happen? See, we know as, as martial artists, uh, we run through all the scenarios in, in a sparring tournament that could happen or, or a forms tournament. What would I do if this happens? How do I counter this? What do I do? How would I react to this? And we go through those things in our mind because it prepares us better for competition. Well, there's also another story I like to tell that, that there, there was a study done. If I grab 10 people and I ask them to take a basketball and just shoot the basketball from 10 feet away at the basketball hoop, a certain percentage would make that basket. But if I took another 10 people and told them in a week we were gonna do this drill and they had time to visualize the drill, that group of 10 people would statistically uh, shoot more baskets, they would do better. It's because they visualized and planned. Well. Disaster relief for yourself, your family, your school, your coworkers is, is not much different. We need to have a plan in place. So the first thing I want to mention is it's a good idea. I've got the packet right here myself to go to cdc.gov and go to the emergency action plan template. And it'll help you fill out what to do and information you need to know, such as who's going to lead the cause. Let's say there is a tornado in your area or an earthquake breaks out or a bomb threat locally. Think about what just happened in Boston not too long ago. What happens and who's going to lead the charge in your company if you, maybe the owner or, or head instructor, is not there? It's going to talk about having information handy and ready so if there's an emergency, you know who to call and what to do. So it's very important to have this plan in place, but I want to take it a step further there's all kinds of emergency action plans. It could be natural disaster. It could be, unfortunately, acts of terrorism. Again, looking at Boston when the bomb blew up, there was many businesses affected. What about other types of things that happen in your company that you may not be prepared for? What would happen, gosh forbid, if all of a sudden you're, you had no more instructor or program director? What would happen if, how would you fix that scenario? Are you prepared? And there could be a million reasons that would happen, whether it's because of quit, fired, accidents. What would happen if for some reason you had to shut your school down for a week? What would happen if you had to shut your school down for a month for any of these disasters? Would you have a place to go and train? See, fortunately in Orlando where we have multiple schools, all of our schools are relatively close together. So any one school could cover for another, but that's not most people's situation. What would you do if a storm hit? I have friends that were affected by Hurricane Sandy and their schools were shut down for a month. So what did they do for the month? Where did they train? Where did they hold classes? And so we understand, they've not, I'm not being callous thinking about this on a business end. I'm also saying this is a way to help provide for people both emotionally, physically, and financially. So it encompasses all, but the best way to be prepared is to have a plan. So I'm encouraging everybody to think about what would I do if, and then let's take it a step further. Let's say what would I do if, and let's write it down and log it down, and then one more step further. What would I do if, write it down, log it down, and share it with the people on your team so everybody understands what we would have to do in time of disaster or tragedy.